Hi, Chuck Woodbury with RVTravel.com, and I'm here again with Larry McGaw of RV Comfort Systems, and we're talking about his cheap heat system, which enables an RVer, an RVer to convert their or adapt their current uh, propane-powered heater to uh, use electricity. So, Larry, why would somebody do this? Why would they just not continue on with the propane heater that came with their RV? Well, you got a couple of reasons. Uh, I think one of the main ones is if you, you're not using propane, you're heating off of the electricity provided by the pedestal when you're plugged into the RV park. If you're going to run out of propane, the only time you're going to run out of propane is 3 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday morning when nothing's open. Mm -hmm. So that eliminates that problem. The other thing that you have is you have a comfort level. Uh, with a gas furnace, we've one of the issues that it has is you have this cool down and warm up cycle where there's this run time when the fire's not coming out and you get this cold air. That's eliminated with our system. You don't have a fire burning and roaring away so that noise is gone. You have that nice stable temperature throughout the coach. Uh, more like a house. You don't have that overshoot, undershoot problem. Cost of operation. If you're actually paying for your electricity, and most places in the country, it's actually cheaper to buy electricity to heat with than it is to buy propane. Mm, okay. So you've got those things, you've got the safety, you've got the comfort, you've got the noise level, and there's also a safety issue. One of the things our system has is it has redundant safeties. It has a thing in it called a fusible link. Granted, you have a high temperature auto reset switch, but we have a fusible link in there that if the temperature exceeds or the, the auto reset fails or you have a blockage in air, this thing burns out internally. It looks kind of like a diode and it shuts you down permanently. Mm -hmm. So you don't have this thing constantly beating itself to death. Now to replace it's only a 15 minute process, but you need to fix the problem first. I see. Okay, great. Well, thank you. You're welcome.